Hey, what's up everybody, Richard Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can calibrate your send-in light guns. Let's get started. All right, so in order to calibrate our send-in light gun, first thing you wanna do is make sure you're in a dimly lit room. So you can see here, the room that I'm in and the quality here is much darker than my typical videos here on YouTube. The reason for that is I've killed the two lights above me as well as the light behind the camera. I have one light off in the distance over there that shouldn't interfere with my screen. My screen's over here. So if I hold my send and light gun up and I'm gonna catch the glare off of the lights over there, you can see just aiming this dead center at the uh, camera here, that it's actually causing interference there and we're catching the reflection of those lights. If you have lights in front of your Sindin light gun, it's going to totally mess up the experience. You're not gonna be able to track on screen properly. So you can see here, it's all over the place because I'm still catching the lights from over there. If I aim over at my screen perfectly, you can see it tracks the movement much smoother. So. First off, again, make sure that your lights are dimmed or they're behind you. So if I had lights behind me, they're not going to be causing any interference between the send and light gun and my TV. So next thing we need to do to calibrate is we need to hold down D-pad left on the side of our send and light gun. That's going to be the button that points over to the two buttons over here on the left hand side. So I'm going to hold that down for about five seconds. One, two, three four, five, and it's going to take us around through our different collections or games. Uh, don't worry about that. It's not going to be an issue at all. So you can see now on screen, we have the crosshairs populating in dead center on our screen. Now what we need to do is we need to raise our light gun up and we need to line up our rear sight with our front sight. And you want to make sure that this front sight actually lines up where the tip of it lines up dead center on that tiny little dot on screen. So you can see inside of the crosshair, there's a tiny dot. Again, make sure that that lines up with the top of your front sight. So I'm gonna line this up, and once I have it lined up, I'm gonna pull the trigger. So now, everything lines up perfectly on here. So I'm gonna add, so I'm going to try to line up with the eyes up there, and it looks pretty good there. It's gonna kind of flicker a little bit here uh, I'm also a little bit close. If I back up slightly, it'll be a little bit smoother. So there you go. I'm gonna go to the eye down below, left eye, pretty much right on point there. And I am catching a little bit of the, I have a computer down here, so I'm catching some of the light in my room here. I don't have an ideal setup for this, but we are pretty much on point here. So I'm gonna jump into a game. We're gonna go into Dreamcast, and we're gonna go into, um, let's go into House of the Dead 2. All right, so here we have House of the Dead 2 for Dreamcast. We're gonna launch the game, and I've actually set this to show my crosshairs on screen, so we'll be able to track this right off the bat here. So let me just raise it up. Seems to be good, no flickering or anything like this, and you can totally recalibrate if you want. Cool thing about this particular title is you can hit your start button and pause the game. I'm gonna actually advance into it right now. So if you're playing a game and you find that the um, calibration's off or um, needs an adjustment, you can stop and calibrate right there in game. Some games you can pause, some you can't, but um, you can certainly calibrate in game, which is awesome to not have to exit the game, go back to your menu and do it from there. So let me cite this in while we have the cutscene. Seems to be pretty good there. It's flickering a little bit though, so I'm gonna actually recalibrate right here, holding that D-pad left. Gonna line that up, pull the trigger, and uh, seems to be pretty good. So let's see, I think we start right here. Perfect, seems to be doing great. timing with the reload was off there, but all in all, pretty perfect with the aiming. All right, so as you can see from this video, pretty straightforward in terms of how you calibrate your send in light gun. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. And of course, leave me a thumbs up on the video if you found the information here helpful and you enjoyed the video. Be sure to also hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one.